Okay. All right. Weathering Waves has had a is is a rocky start. Let's just say that for sure. It is a rocky ass start. Guess what I literally just saw. So, CN right now is fucking exploding when it comes to Weathering Waves. And here's a few reasons why. The launch. The, it's the launch of the game. The launch of Weathering Waves was not the best. There was lags. There was there was lagging. There was glitches. There was bugs. People couldn't get in. Like it was fucking insane. And we can actually go to the post of them saying they're going to be fixing it and doing compensation, which is right here, literally where they note off all of the problems of hey, there's lag, frame rate drops, blur heat, heated screens is crazy, and blurred screens, crashes, flashbacks, all that. So at first. This was it. They were gonna fix the problems and they were gonna give away the easy 10 fates, right? But then this new news dropped where it's not just the 10 fates. We're also gonna be getting the rate the golden waves, which is the premium currency. And then all the way down here is gonna be a five-star selector which is a special item to all of us via email. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with CN? Well, to my Discord people out there, shout out to them for bringing me this news. They pretty much gave me a quick old summary. I'm not gonna show them off because of pri because obviously for privacy. So yeah, I'm just gonna be reading off my other side of the monitor. So. It's basically chaos, and the drama started by people because so many issues on launch. Some people take advantage of it and steer this situation on hating Wuha. By comparing it to Genshin because it's perfect in their eyes, and after that, people start posting apologies on their social medias and replying to the Genshin social media that they are so sorry for trying another game. This right here is the tactic that Hoyoverse wants to do. This is Hoyoverse's tactic all along. And the people say that, oh, Hoyo, Genshin doesn't brainwash its people. We're all good. The fans are fine. Everything is normal. We're good. The game is great. No. Bro, if you genuinely did look at CN right now, holy shit. It is in shambles. We have people apologizing for trying another game. What the fuck? Like, I I would never, ever apologize to a game community for trying a similar game in its genre. I never once was like, you know what? I'm gonna apologize to like other games that are similar to Pokemon. I had, I, I couldn't think of like another turn based. <laughs> I couldn't think of another like turn based RPG off the top of my head i actually okay let me no no no. i wouldn't apologize to hsr for playing pokemon i wouldn't apologize um i'm trying to think of other games this uh, what's the word i wouldn't apologize to the smash community for playing street fighter or tekken 8 or grandly fantasy versus rising it's just i wouldn't do that and there's no reason to but the thing is, since they're so manipulated and brainwashed to the point that they think this game is just perfect. People genuinely think Genshin Impact is a perfect gacha game. And to be quite frank, it's not. No game is perfect. And it's damn sure not Genshin. Because fuck man, Genshin has so many problems. I mean, do I really have to go to that post of what they did? I mean, bro. These motherfuckers increased the original resin cap to 200. And Weathering Waves already is at 240 on launch. What? Like, what the? They, it's like, Hoyoverse fans, especially Genshin fans, the intense fans, they'll get fed little crumbs just little little bits of fucking crumbs and call it the best shit ever and it come and here's the thing when it comes to genshin's comp compensation and shit 
10 primos, 300. That's all you fucking get. That's all you fucking get. But here's the best part. Nashiro just dropped a short version of this. So we can instant, so we easily know what the fuck is happening with this whole thing. So, announcement of the game experience issues and continuous optimization. Compensation announcements. We will be getting 10 limited pulls and playable and players with the character before July 3rd. And union um, level 2 or above will get this compensation. And it will be distributed tomorrow. And then the skip function optimization. Full storyline skips and revisiting skipped content. So that means we can look back at archived content that we skipped. They pretty much gave us an archived feature. Never thought that was going to be the best shit. Never thought I would ask for that, but damn. Wish we had that in Genshin. But no, if you miss out and you have FOMO, you missing out. Now, I'm hoping this is also here for events as well. But that's crazy. They updated the skip button, expanded the skippable main storylines, including prologue and first act. You can now skip the first act and prologue in the game to just go straight into the action. Stationary dialogues can be skipped. Yelan's companion task will also be there as well. Cutscenes skip, cutscenes skips not available due to technical limitations. That's fine. So pretty much they're saying, if you guys want to go straight into the action, we're dad's going to make it easier as fuck for you to, to do it. We're not even going to sugarcoat it. Literally, Curl Games, in just this first section already, they're literally saying, we're not going to sugarcoat it. We're just going to tell you straight up. We are literally going to tell you straight up that we'll just let you skip a whole bunch of part of the major parts of the story if you just want to go into the action and fight. And that's some people. That's a lot of people. That's the hardcore people who just want to fight and play. That's crazy. Combat experience and optimization. Enhance enhancements to hit feedback, damage response to controller and visual clarity during combat. Improve controller functions, key customization delays. Thank you. And then the last thing, which I didn't think at all we needed, but Curl Games is they are they are really 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 fucking sorry like you guys need a break you you genuinely need a fucking break after this one they're giving us a selectable permanent five star which is literally any five star on the standard banner that that's wild and we'll be getting this um the 26 wait no no yeah distribution the 26 so in two days and valid until the next year until the next year this this guys this is a company right here we have i have never seen a company be this apologetic and sorry about the product that they've made. They are doing all of this because they truly want Weathering Waves to succeed. And I already know there's gonna be people in my comments, there's gonna be so many people in my comments being like, damn, they're doing all this, they some bitches. Bro, we would never see this shit in HSR. We will never see this shit in fucking Genshin. Damn sure not in Genshin. Don't even get me started with that. All the bugs and fixes and crazy shit. That Nahida buys you that Nahida glitch where they were deleting shit. Did we even get compensation for that? Let me know down in the comments if we did. And if we did get compensation, let me know how much it was. Because if it wasn't, because that wasn't bad. That was a terrible ass um time. Because literally people's like in-game stuff was getting deleted. And you couldn't even if you deleted the game, the files were still just fucking deleted. It was that fucking bad. To think that they would let that shit slide. They should at least compensate a good a good majority for that. But I believe they did. But it's crazy how much Curl Games is willing to give back to the community and support this game. And I've always always I always said I will stick with this game as long as the 
dev developer team and dev team responds back and listens and they are listening and they are responding so hard another thing ongoing optimization continuous development enhancements of ed to mpc art assets addition to layered map functions sound bone transformation gameplay more features activities and development recognition of current shortcomings commitment to the ongoing refinement of the game content experience gratitude of player attention and support and this is what I'm saying right now. This is what I'm saying, guys. This is a company that is truly, truly sorry for their product. I'm going to say that again. The amount of shit they're doing for the bugs, glitches, all that shit is insane. You'll be able to have a free five star five star character in a year. And what I mean in a year, this shit is valid until next year. So any new player joining this game can just instantly get a free five star. And a whole bunch of pulls. And the fact that CN is apologizing to Genshin people is it's still that still baffles me why are y'all apologizing there's no reason to apologize there's legit no reason to apologize at all just enjoy weathering waves for what it is it's going to be compared to genshin it's inevitable it literally is inevitable you cannot stop these people just just don't just don't worry about them i don't give a fuck about the genshin people at all or Hoyoverse stands. They can come in my comments, type all the shit they want. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna enjoy the game how I wanna do it. And you guys can sit there with your broken ass game. But hey, that's just me. I'm gonna enjoy my game with devs that care a lot about their product. And you guys can sit there with the most broken shit and your three pulls that you got for a three year anniversary. Hoyoverse, fuck y'all. But that's, but that might be it for me. I'm done. I'm done. That's all I wanted to say. I made this video to spread the word out there, to give it out to as many people as possible. So share, like, and comment. And yeah, I'm gonna be sticking with this game for a long time. So you guys stick with the journey.